Let me tell you why Melanie Martinez is probably gonna be the only artist that I am actually buying a VIP ticket for. So we're finally in Prague, right now it's 11 a.m. The check-in hotel is at 2 p.m. but we want to take full advantage of the city. So let's see where today will take us. So we've decided to go get lunch because it's almost lunch time. Look at this lemon squeeze thing that the tea came with. I've never seen something like this before. We got two 24 hour tickets because we don't need one for tomorrow because we're seeing Melanie Martinez. So we have to take the train in the direction of Czerny most. We just checked in and now we're dropping our stuff. See, Melanie Martinez is quite literally right there. This was the closest hotel from the venue, like the closest. And now we're going to the city to actually see stuff. Look at that cool thing right there. It's cool. So we've been standing in this line for like 10 minutes to see this Tower of Books. Cool. A little bit of Amsterdam in Prague. Mm, you can taste a little bit of the charcoal. It's nice. We are extremely cold, so we just decided to grab it. Let's go do some shopping. Girl shopping be like. This is cute. Oh, this would look so well on our balcony. Oh my god, this is purple. I have to get it. We felt like we are in need for something a little bit fancier. So we chose this place called Goose something. Bohemian Goose. Bohemian Goose. It's time to go get some drinks. <laughs> What does the smell remind you of? It's something. So tired. We're going back to the hotel. We're so old. They it's like 9.30. They don't need to know that. <laughs> now they do. It's second day of Prague and my camera decided to be stupid and not record the sound. But here's me talking about my day. We're having great breakfast. This was the best omelette I've ever had in my entire life. And these cinnamon rolls, we're gonna come to Prague just for this, honestly. But it's time, it's time to see Melanie Martinez in like a couple, hours. a couple of hours, but it's time to go there. I discovered her at a birthday party when I was like in fourth grade. That's when I remembered that I actually saw her with my parents competing in The Voice. And then when I discovered that she's actually making like cool music, I was, uh, I became quite a fan and I had her Crybaby album on my phone. And that was basically the only thing that I had on my phone most of middle school. Melanie Martinez is like that one artist that I have been listening to for the longest time. And it's it's crazy because this is gonna be the very first time I see her playing live. Ah! We didn't take our coats with us and jokes on us because we're freezing now. We got the gifts. So it turns out we don't get in that early. We get the early admission, but there's already a line there. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> so it turns out the venue is so old that VIPs get in with the early entry and we have to wait for another hour in the cold. We did it! <laughs> We're here on the floor. Ah. Right by the barricade. <laughs> crying right now. So to wrap up what the VIP experience actually included, the signed poster 
a tote bag, the VIP necklace thingy. We couldn't have had a better spot at this concert and it was probably one of the most thought out and like it was theater. It wasn't a concert, it was theater. I also got a whole bunch of the confetti that they were throwing and also this cute keychain. Now let's go get some drinks. Big city life. So we caught the last restaurant that was open at this hour. Who would have thought restaurants closed so early in Prague? So we had a nice dinner and now we're checking out the area. So these are probably Milani's tour buses. We don't know for sure, but we wanted to. But we're not getting closer because we don't want to invade anybody's privacy. We just were curious. It's just kind of cool. It's just cool. You know, it's just cool. Tomorrow's day three. Good night. Just kidding. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> Day three, we're checking out. Let's go get breakfast. Let's go golfing. Let's go golfing. Let's hunt some elephants. Tell them to bring out the whole ocean. So we went to Cafe Letka to have a breakfast. So it was obviously not as good as the coffee shop from yesterday, but goddamn coffee shops in Prague have the best food. After breakfast, we went to Mausoleum. This is supposed to be like super weird art. With art by David Cherney. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It was absolutely awesome. Normal museums with just random paintings don't really do the trick anymore for us. This was definitely super interesting and super cool. Definitely recommend if you're in Prague. Even though it seems so far away on the map, it was actually really close. Prague is so small. And it's time for the last stop in Prague at the Chloe Cafe. The salad was so good and the coffee shop definitely had the vibes. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and let me know if you'd like to see more of this in the future. Bye!